Hello, my name is Andy Stewart, and I'm a smart city solution engineer primarily focused on ArcGIS indoors. In today's demonstration, I will show the data conversion process of taking Revit building files and bringing them into ArcGIS indoors layers. In this video, we will understand the five step process to seamlessly convert the floor plans in Revit to ArcGIS indoors for interoperability and additional capabilities. The first step is setting up the file geodatabase and converting it into an ArcGIS indoors geodatabase. The second step is adding the Revit data in ArcGIS Pro. The third step is reprojecting and georeferencing the Revit floor plans. The fourth step is running import BIM to indoor dataset geoprocessing tool. And the fifth step is to inspect and verify the output of the ArcGIS indoors data. Now, let's get started by opening a new ArcGIS Pro project. With the new ArcGIS Pro project open, we will see that a blank file geodatabase was placed in our database folder. We will be leveraging this geodatabase in the conversion process. But first, we must run the geoprocessing tool Create Indoors Database to have the new ArcGIS Indoors Database, which contains the layers and schema necessary for our data conversion. We can now refresh the existing geodatabase to see that it is now in an ArcGIS Indoors geodatabase format. In this next step, we will add the Revit building files to ArcGIS Pro. To do this, we need to connect the folder that has the Revit data. Once we add the connected folder, we need to add the floor plan BIM file data set to the map. Once the BIM file dataset has been added to the map, verify in the map's contents that the following layers have been added, specifically floor plan polygon, floor plan polyline, and footprint, as these layers will be integral for the data conversion process. The next step is to project and georeference our floor plan Revit data. We need to first select the floor plan polygon layer then select the building management toolbar where we can then select the define projection tool. In order to choose the right projection, we need to make sure to analyze our floor plan polygon attribute table to see the unit of measurement. Specifically, we can see that all the data here in the family type field is specified in feet. Therefore, we will use a projection that leverages feet. Once we have selected the coordinate system, we can go ahead and run the geoprocessing tool to define our projection. Next, we need to go into the folder storing our Revit building files. You'll notice a newly created file called .prj, which is the projection file. Rename this file to esri underscore cad for it to become a universal projection for all of our Revit buildings stored in this folder. Moving into the last part of step three, we need to georeference the Revit data to the appropriate location on the base map. The simplest way to do this is by first knowing the exact address of where the building will be placed. Once you have identified this location, go to the Georeference Manager and then the Locate button to enter the address. You can now leverage the Georeference Preparing Tools to move the data to the right display. Make sure to rotate, move, and scale the building to ensure it fills in the building's footprint on the base map. Once you have completed your georeferencing, make sure to save your work. Once you have saved your georeference, proceed to looking at the folder where the Revit data is stored. Rename the 3D world file to esri underscore cad dot ld3, as it will ensure the other Revit building files are in this relative location on the base map. The fourth step is to run the Import BIM to Indoor Dataset Geoprocessing Tool. This geoprocessing tool will look at the Revit floor plans and automatically load the data into the ArcGIS Indoors layers in the Indoors Geodatabase. First, make sure the Input BIM floor plan polygon layer is selected. Next, select the Indoors Geodatabase Indoors Feature Class Dataset. Then, use the common facility's name.
For the ground floor, make sure to target the first level that starts at elevation 0. Then, choose the room name as the room category field. Then select all the floors that you'd like to import into your indoors layers. Choose the unit of measurement using the projected coordinate system, as it will define the gross and net area in the facilities, levels, and units layer. As we run the geoprocessing tool, you'll notice how quick it can transform Revit data to indoor GIS. It took this data set, which was three floors, at a total of 115,000 gross square footage to run in 26 seconds. This tool provides so much efficiency for any indoor GIS user wanting to transform their workplace model into usable data. The final step of the data conversion process is to inspect and verify the output for the ArcGIS Indoors floor plan data. To verify our data was properly transformed and loaded, check the attribute table for the facilities, levels, units, and details layers. Throughout this demonstration, we learned a lot of new information. Particularly, we learned how to create an ArcGIS Indoors Geo database. Second, we learned how to add Revit floor plan data to ArcGIS Pro. Third, we learned how to reproject and georeference Revit floor plans. And then we learned how to run the import BIM to indoor dataset geoprocessing tool. And finally, we learned how to inspect and verify the ArcGIS indoors floor plan data. I hope you found this demonstration helpful. Thanks for watching.